Wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers, so welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. And I'm here to bring you more enlightening update for your understanding of what is happening in River State between Fubara and Mwike. Because Mwike don't enter hot soup. The enemies he made in the past is coming to take their pound of flesh. Because what goes around comes around. When I make attempt to see President Akume will go there and say, look, if you allow Otom to come here, you will make him popular. So don't allow him. In the wake of his defection to the PDP, he had coerced 12 out of the 23 local government chairmen who were elected on the platform of the APC to follow him to PDP. We all knew that at the time when Akume of Benue State, the current SGF, was having similar base with his, you know, successor, Autumn. We came, <laughs> teamed up with Autumn to fight Akume. And that is when he made this statement. We've seen successors turn against their predecessors in politics. Yes, yeah. Would you be worried if yeah. that happens to you? Why? Is it serving me? He, he was he going to serve me? He was going to serve the state. The problem we have, or leaders have, is that look, you you have you 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 you, you succeeded in supporting the person to be in office, right? What you did is it for him to fail or to succeed? You want you to come into your heart to be taking orders. You want your wife to go into time. Look, this is what I want to do. Not what you see. Well, once you have left office, you give yourself that respect. I say, I have done my own. If you want my advice, it's okay. If you don't want my advice, it's okay. But for me to begin from day to day, that he must do this, he must do that, that is not acceptable. Just so that's why people fail. They get, they get, oh, you know, after I did this, they did, so what you Good. <laughs> the chicken has come room to roast. Who will save Mwike? From too many enemies he made in APC when he was fighting APC, like the whole world is coming down. He made so much enemies, and many of them are in Asorok today, waiting to take their pound of flesh. Not just take this appointment of um, Tinibu as being acceptance into the fold of APC. I mean, talking about Wike. It is because Wike had, you know what he did in River State? So he hold them on brokers. A very huge evidence to show clearly that Tinibu never won this election. We know that, so we keep that aside. Now, the same Wike is fighting his successor, the person that he forced on River State. Let me just put it first on because they never allowed the people to make their choice. I'm not saying that the man Fubara is not good, but this is the, a, a consistent story, especially in River State, where successors and their predecessors are at it, each other's throat. When desperate politicians want to get power at all means, they can sign all manner of agreement. But I'm here to address what manner of agreement Fubara signed with Winke, and why is it that Winke is hell bent in controlling this government? Now, you can remember that yesterday Winke had a meeting with Tinibu and Fubara, and he also played host to political leaders from River State in his office, and he said clearly that Fubara wanted to dismantle his own structure and make him irrelevant. All of us want to be politically relevant. All of us want to maintain our political uh, structure. So, before he left this country, you had your political structure. Will you allow anybody to just cut you out immediately? <laughs> Who is that? Everybody has a base, it's not true. Yes, if you take my bill, I will I'm not politically irrelevant. You can turn it to economic energy you want to say. It's your business. At the appropriate time, we will know who's right. I will know who's uh, 
wrong. That's what I can say. And for me, anybody who knows me not well, what I will never take is threat. That was, you know me, I will not, I will not agree. I will not agree. If heaven will come down, let heaven uh, come down. Every politician has his own address. Every politician. So, that's where I will stop. <laughs> Hi! So, you want to make him irrelevant. And this, some of the statements that he made from that very meeting, you know, pointed out clearly that what this man said in this video is absolutely correct. What led to this whole um, crisis in River State today? Because even if I have an agreement with you prior to um, me becoming elected and all that, and at some point, you're not even allowing me to breathe. You're suffocating me at this particular, at the point I will revolt. It's a natural thing. People will revolt for survival. Let's look at the situation that led to this entire issue. First of all, Governor Wicked demanded 25% of River State allocation. It seemed even, from, from the rumors we, we hear about, seemed even uh, uh, offered to give 10% of river state allocation. This is what is happening in our states. Not just that, we had, this, we had a situation where he appointed all the, uh, almost all the commissioners, appointed essays for the man, appointed a chief security officer. Come on, these are personal things that should be of concern to, to the governor. These are things that should make him revolt. And when you see a situation where even the commissioners nominated by governor, by, by Wiki, as against those of them nominated by Sim, you see those ones disrespecting the governor of River State. And you expect him not to revolt, to still stick, stick to uh, an agreement before the elections? No, naturally, everybody will revolt. Good. Now, talking about appointment, this is the very one of the most crucial appointments. Mwike first on Fubara. <laughs> We intend to start early so that we can achieve. The tax ahead of us is really enormous, so we don't need to leave any stone unturned. We have all the records. Now you've seen all of those things put together. You can now understand that the 25% of which Fubara is have agreed to even pay him 10% of the revenue of River State. You can imagine that nonsense. And we are talking about it in the open, like it doesn't matter. And the people are looking at Kimbo. This is your future. They are this, they are sharing among themselves. So they are fighting over your future. Why you continue to suffer? And the people are just looking at Kimbo. It is Miki and Fubara's business. It is not Wink and Fubara's business. Because the suffering of River State people who are in the creek, where their resources are being exploited, and they are suffering because of this um, exploitation or the activities of um, oil exploration. Mm -hmm. And we see these people fighting. They are not fighting for your own good. Though. That is the bottom line of what I'm trying to let you know. They are not fighting for your own good. They are fighting for their own personal interest and that of their political associates. You can imagine that. It is not only happening in River State, but River State is the headquarter. We are desperate politicians sign agreement in order to become governor and wicked greedy monsters in the name of governors never want to leave power they want to be in control you can imagine how much is the uh, uh, is the uh, allocation of um, river state every month that a man will be demanding 10%, even if he is God, demanding 10%. He was even demanding 20% and they are offering him 10%. 
God never demanded 20% from us, yet he is demanding 20%. And he's been offered 10%. Anyway, I just want to let you know all of these things because we have to follow it up so that you will know that the allegations or whatever that is being shown out against Wiki is completely truth. And there are people in Asorok that want to take their pound of flesh. Akumes, I call them. They are waiting for him. And Tinibu will not have anywhere to spare him. Although there are so many things at stake, but, but they have crossed the line. They have crossed the line. The Supreme Court have made their judgment. So there is no going back. Even if you bring that fresh evidence, uh, you want to open your mouth. Yes, we know. You don't need to open your mouth because you have stolen the election from the Nigerian people, from River State. Let it burn. But I pray that the people will understand that all of this, they are the ones they are sharing on their table. Your future is what they are fighting for. Who will grab it? And at what extent they are going to grab it? So, ultimately, now you, the ordinary Nigerians, now not be victim. It doesn't matter if you are from River State or not. Every one of us is having our own from different states. I'm also Jared Peters, the advocate for good governance, exposing these things to you, for you to know and understand the system that has been set up against you. Bye-bye for now. Help me share this video. And what's your thought on it? Drop it on the comment section. Bye-bye for now.